All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. And it's just Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. All right, I want to go on in this lesson, man. Uh, basically, earlier uh, today, um, you know, while I was working, a uh, woman at w one of my jobs, you know, she came at uh she came up to me and she put one of the, the Jehovah uh wickednesses we had GMS say, you know, the Jehovah Witness uh watchtower things in my pocket, you know, which is totally unprofessional, you know, be to be speaking about this stuff at work, you know, but she just came up and put it in my pocket, you know, and I was just like, man, like, well, I'm not going to read this, this crap, man, you know, but when I picked it up, I, I realized something that this, the, the watchtower, I was like, hey, man, I could probably, you know, go in there on the spirit and check and see what, what they have in there that's wrong or what's going off in there. And sure enough, I surely found something in there, right? Now, one of the things that I found in there it says spirits have not lived and died on earth which that title right here is in itself is is all you know it can be interpreted many different ways right but i'm gonna go on on this 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 lesson and i'm gonna uh pull out some precepts it says spirits exist within the invisible realm there are both good and bad spirits are they Persons who have lived and died on earth know they are not, which they're going off on uh, people not living and dying. Basically, uh, it, the, the lesson, it, it, it keep, you know, it'll tell it. It says, when a person dies, he or she does not pass on to the spirit world as many people think. So basically, they're saying that once you die, you, you, uh, you're non-existent, you know, that that's the end all be all, you know, you just come here on earth, you pay bills and you die, you know, you're basically oppressed, you know, it says, how do we know this? Because the Bible says so. The Bible is a book of truth and yeah, I'm going to uh, try to go down. It says, uh, the Bible says that God formed Ab Adam, the first man out of dust from the ground. Right now, hold on. It's, it says, uh, it says, God put him in paradise, the Garden of Eden. If Adam had obeyed Jehovah's laws, he would not have died. He would still be alive on earth today. But Adam deliberately broke God's law, and God said to him, You will return to the ground, for out of it you were taken. For dust you are, and to dust you will return. Right? It says, what does this mean? Well, where was Adam before Jehovah created him from the dust? He was nowhere. So basically they're saying, all right, it says he was, an, he was not an unborn spirit in heaven. He did not exist. So basically what they're saying is before you're born, right, you did not live. And when you die, you don't, that's the end. You know, you, you, is that's the end all be all. You just come here and you're done. Okay. Um, it says, uh, so when Jehovah told Adam, said that Adam would return to the ground, he meant that Adam would die. He did not cross over to the spirit realm. At death, Adam once again became lifeless, non-existent. Death is the absence of life. And, Basically, when you sit here and you really think about the the concept of this thing, they're basically making it seem like the the most high is 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 you know just pointless, you know? Like there's no point. You just come here and you die and, and, and that's the end, you know? So now, let me get the, the scriptures on this, you know, because it's, it's a lot of craziness, you know, from out of that thing. Um, 
to debunk that spirit people uh not being uh living or existing before they're they're born and people uh dying and not never existing again okay this is ecclesiastes one and nine the thing that has been it is that which shall be and that which is done is that which shall be done and there is no new thing under the sun okay it says there is no new thing under the sun so when you look at everything that's under the sun even looking at the sun there's no new thing okay so if you if if somebody was to not exist before they were born that would mean that they're new okay but the scripture says that there is no new thing under the sun okay there's not even the sun is new okay but they sit up there and they say that it's a new day it's just the sun basically rotating around the earth, man. You know? They say that it's a new moon, but it's not like another moon just came out of nowhere. It's still the same moon. So there is no new thing under the sun. Okay? Not not the, the water is, is the same. Okay? You're not getting no no crazy water that, that's coming from another planet. Okay? You have a thing called photosynthesis. Okay. It says, is there anything whereof it may be said, see, this is new. It has already been of old time, which was before us. Okay. So the things that you see right now, they're nothing new. Okay. It says it, 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 it already has been of old time. It says, there is no remembrance of former things. And this is what happens when, you, when you're when you born. Okay? You don't remember your past life. Because reincarnation is inside the Bible. It says, neither shall there be any remembrance of the things that are to come with those that shall come after. Okay? So, that's one scripture. This is Ecclesiastes 12 and 7. Then saw the dust, okay, because this, this verse right here, it says, out of the dust from the ground, right? God formed Adam, the first man, out of the dust of the ground, and, and to the dust he shall go, right? It says, then saw the dust return to the earth as it was, and the spirit shall return unto God who gave it. So, once again... You go back to this thing, it says that a spirit wasn't living before it came on this earth. And basically after you die, you're non-existence. But this scripture says that once you die, your spirit goes back to the heavenly father. Okay? And, and the father sends it right back on down for that judgment. Okay? You, 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 you die, which was your judgment. And you go back up into the to the to unto the father, and he he sends you back down to, to receive your judgment again. Okay? That's why, like, like according to that logic of people not being born before they're I mean, people not having spirits and stuff like that. If you want to go by that logic, then why are people born with special needs, man? You got people who, who don't even know how to count the five. You know, can't even read worth a damn. Don't don't have any understanding as to what life is. Why is that? That's because that's their judgment from the Lord. You got people that are dying when they're three years old. OK, babies that are dying when they're seven years old. So what's going on with those people? That's their judgment. That's the Lord's judgment. OK, and to prove that reincarnation is inside the, the, the Bible. I have some scriptures on that. This is Matthew 17 and 10. And his disciples asked him, saying, Why then say the scribes that Elias, which is Elijah, must first come? And in the Hebrew, his name is Yahweh Shah. Okay? The one who, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. 
It says, And Yahweh Shah answered and said unto them, Elias, which is Elijah, truly shall first come and restore all things. But I say unto you that Elijah, which is Elias, is come already. And they knew him not, but have done unto him whatsoever they listed. Likewise shall also the Son of Man suffer of them. Then the disciples understood that he spoke unto them of John the Baptist. Okay, so John the Baptist was Elijah coming back in the reincarnation. The same way with Yahweh Shah, the one who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. He was the first Adam. Okay, he was Melchizedek. He was Isaac. He was King Solomon. Now, this is another reincarnation scripture. Jude 1 and 6. And the angels, which kept not their first estate, which is their, what is their first estate? Their spiritual bodies. But left their habitation, he have reserved in everlasting chains under darkness unto the judgment of the great day. Okay? So basically... Before you come down on this planet, you're in the spirit world, okay? You receive your judgment, you know, and you come back down onto this planet. And the, the, the everlasting chains, you know, of darkness, that's that's these bodies, man. These bodies that, that we're in, okay? Some people are, are slated to die forever. You know, not die forever, my bad, but they're slated to die uh, during Judgment Day, okay? But the 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 men of the Lord, the elect, you know, they're gonna they're gonna be saved out of this this society, okay? Um. Now, I'm gonna get First Corinthians. Um, 15 and 51. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep because the scriptures, uh, some places refer to death is sleep. Okay. Now, if you die, or let's say when you go to sleep in this, in this world right now, don't you wake up? That's the same way with death. Okay. But when you die, you don't have no remembrance of your, your former life. It says, but we shall all be changed. And that's a mystery, man, that everybody isn't going to get. Okay? Everybody out here on this planet is not going to die. Okay? Everybody isn't going to go to sleep. Okay? But it says, we shall, be, we shall all be changed. Why? Because flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of, of God. Neither does corruption inherit incorruption. And these 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 bodies that we're in is is corrupted, man. Okay, it was point is it was appointed for us to live a certain amount of time. Now, Hebrews chapter seven, okay, which is this this verse right here is talking about Yahweh Shah, okay, the one who the world ignorantly calls Jesus, okay. And you can read that on down. It says, uh, Hebrews 7 and 27. Who needeth not daily as those high priests to offer up sacrifice, first for his own sins and then for the people's. For this he did once when he offered up himself. Okay? Now, we all know that the one who the world calls Jesus, he didn't sin. When he was Yahweh Shah, or when he was on this earth. Okay? So why does the scripture says that first for his own sins, and then for his people? For this he did once. Why? Because of his his former lives. Okay? He knew who he was in the, in the, in the past life. Okay? This is Revelation 22 and 16. I, Jesus, or Yahweh Shah, have sent mine angel to testify unto you these things in the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David. 
and the bright and morning star. Okay? So when you look at the root and the offspring, how can you be the father and how can you be the son? It's, it's impossible, man. You know? And that's that's why these freaking uh, Jehovah Witnesses, they're not deep. Okay? This is uh, Matthew 1 and 1. Because reincarnation, also re re which is regeneration, is inside the, bi um, the Bible. Okay? Re mean, meaning uh, back. Uh, carn carnation, the body, back in the body, regeneration, back gene, which is your D DNA again, okay, back in the DNA, your genealogy, okay, and this is the book of the genealogy, okay, of Yahweh Shah, okay, all the way down onto his father, Joseph, okay, so this is this is the genealogy of. The one who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. It says the son of David, the son of Abraham. Okay, now who was the son of David? That was Solomon. The one who the world, the 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 Lord, Yahweh, the Most High, said that he was going to establish an everlasting kingdom for Solomon. Now, did he have that everlasting kingdom? No, he did not. And it says the son of Abraham. And who is the son of Abraham? It's Isaac. Okay. Also, Adam, you know, the the the, the one the that's that's who also Yahweh Shah was. Okay. So that basically debunks, you know, this people aren't existing before they're alive, and people are basically non existent when they die, okay. Your, your, the Lord, your spirit goes right back to the Lord who gave it, okay? So, if your spirit returns onto the Lord, okay, and he gave it, that means that he's going to give it again, okay? Your spirit is just going to keep on returning, okay? Which re means back, man, okay? So, your spirit has to return back onto the Father, and he's going to keep on giving it back, okay? And that's that's the truth behind that the, the the that scripture, man. You know, behind reincarnation. So with that, man, hopefully you guys been edified. You know, I uh, want to give all praises to honor and glory to Yahweh by some Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the apostles, a great millstone, and the sincere Salawam to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work and truth and the sincerity. Salawam.